Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 Australian Edition where we are still continuing to build the biggest and best Australian transportation company the world has ever seen. Guys, last episode we ran along this whole route and made sure that not only did they have buses, they had all the cargo being delivered. Now it meant that we had to reroute some of this stuff had to set up some new lines, kind of change some of my existing routes, but it worked out pretty well. Now, we haven't really made much more money uh, lately. We've kind of been plateauing for the longest time, but what we've been doing is making things a lot more efficient and setting our cities up for initial and additional growth. Now, last episode, uh, someone said, uh, well, two episodes before, someone said, I didn't do the bus route in Port Hedland. And I said, yes, I did. And it turns out, actually, it's not that the case. I missed a stop, which is over here. So from Mill Road to Green Lane, I forgot to add this stop in here. Whoopsie. I did a whoopsie. Actually, there's actually a couple of here I've missed. How have I managed this? Right, I don't want to talk about it. But shut up. It's now in. <laughs> Right, we're continuing. So today, there's a few things I want to get done. Now, we had a lot of um, huffle and kerfuffle over... Where is it? Sorry, over here. Between... Is it here? Yes, yeah, sorry, it is here. Between the machines factory and the tools factory. Now, while we have the trains coming in delivering the wood for both the uh, machines factory and the tools factory, there's not really any uh, wood in the uh, tools factory right now, but there is a train on the way. Uh, we need to also deliver more steel as well. Now, we're going to set up a brand new steel run. We already have one coming in, but it's not adequate enough. We're going to set up a line that picks up the coal from here and the ore from here down to the steel plant to then bring the steel directly in. We should then start producing more machines. Everybody's happy. And then we'll try and figure out how we can bring more wood up to the tools factory so it can keep producing. That's one of the things I want to do in this episode. I also want to go back to our... Remember when we set this up, boys? When we rerouted a lot of our fuel to this platform and got this to start producing oil so we can get fuel over here and then bring it back. Turns out we're doing pretty good. So much, in fact, that there's a lot of um, refined oil on these platforms. We've got to get this shifted a little bit more as well and get things working. And then we're going to plan out the route for our high-speed train line that's going to go over to this side of Australia. This side is the only side right now, apart from obviously up to Newcastle, but from uh, Grafton to Brisbane, uh, all the way up to the north part of uh, Bam Bamaga, is that how you pronounce it? We have no connections. It's all completely isolated. So we got to figure out what the, the central city is going to be for the high-speed train line to go in multiple directions. Right, we've got a lot we need to do, boys. We have got so much we need to do. And um, I think we're going to kickstart it with doing something that you guys have been wanting for a long time. I am going to repay my loan. Oh, no, I borrowed more money. No, I'm going to repay it, guys. I ain't going to do that to you no more. We've finally repaid our loan. You can stop going mental at me in the comment section down below every single episode. I've done it, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> right, let's get this rocking and rolling. So, here, we're going to need a train station, obviously. But we're going to need three platforms. Now, I don't need to do anything crazy. It's going to be very, very standard, simple, but yet effective stuff. Where's the best place to pull it in that it will kind of link? I don't really want to do it like you know what we'll do it like we'll do it like this here, the train station. We'll build a road. Keep it simple, baby. Build a road. Right, road going in. Connection going in. Train station connected. Annoyingly, it's not high speed. I always forget to toggle that. I really do. Even though it makes no difference, because they'll be slowing down here. Main thing is, we got three lines. There's no need for me to do any offensive bypassing and whatnot. It's going to be one train on both lines, on all three lines. One from the coal, one for the ore, one for the steel dropping off back and forth. It's going to be literally that simple. It is going to be that simple. Now, if I bring this, actually, if I bring this out to about here. If I bring that down to just there. If I then smoothen all this, because it does annoy me when the land is not beautifully smoothened. 
I will be honest with you guys, it does send me slightly over the edge. There we go, as best as we can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Right, Seneca's lost his mind. He's officially lost his mind. Right, super long platforms on these. We only need, again, the one station. Okay, there's that one. We'll squeeze this right round and put you central. And we'll go just there. Now, we might have to configure this one slightly to be now able to have a building on the opposite side. So I'm going to have to get technically a platform here just so I can get a cargo building just there. Again, annoying. Well, it's what I've got to do. Right, road going this way, road going in, and obviously, oh, wrong button, road going into here. So that then means that this connects to all of them. And we'll try and smoothie smoothie, but it's never going to worky worky. Right, I'm not here for the aesthetics. It's just going to be a simple run going in. So if I get our train tracks then, and if I work with this one, because these two will run together to a certain extent before they do then initially meet their demise and then turn. So this will run all the way through. Now there's no point doing any like double tracks, uh, bypassing routes and that kind of stuff. There's no need for any of this. There's only going to be one train on each line. We just keep it simple. Right, that goes to there and then this one here turns off to connect to here. Simple yet effective. Now it does eat into a lot of the terrain. It does eat into a lot of it. So if I just quickly pause right now and smoothie smoothie. We'll get all this sorted and then the only other route I got to set up then is running the steel to the factory. That's all I've then got to do. And that's then this pretty much set up. Now believe it or not, as simplistic as this is, it's going to be quite a large money maker for us. It really is, because there's not really that much kind of involved of it. It's going to be carrying full loads every time, or at least we hope it's going to be carrying full loads every time. So there should be no dramas. There should actually literally be no dramas. So if I set up a new line, so from here to here, which, what do I call it? Do I just call it the Laverton one? Because that's what the steel plant over here is technically called. So if I call it Laverton, oh, hang on, we're all capitals here, boys. Laverton, uh, this is coal. I had to think for a second there. What is this? This is coal. Make it dark and gray. Another new line there to there. And this is Laverton, but it's or. And make this orange. That's not orange. That's orange. There we go. So, in reality, right, in reality, ore will get delivered more often than coal because coal is a lot further away. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, let's get a building right now for our rail depot. Spin it right round. And we'll make it run into both all three of these tracks. Keep it simple. And that means we're able to kind of get them all up and running. So diesel or do I go electric? Diesel obviously will be cheaper to run and maintain, but electric can pull a lot more. I mean, I do need to eventually switch all these over to electric. So let's just kind of do this one as electric. And we'll do a 300 capacity. It's probably completely overkill. It's going to be way overkill, this is. It's ridiculously overkill. Uh, Laverton, where are you? Laverton, la 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 Laverton, coal will do first. And then we'll do, we've got so many lines, don't I? Laverton ore. Right, they're now set up. So, as you wish, as you wish. So we're going to bring this now and do a, a slight little turn here. So if I, I'm going to have to technically set this up. To also be a two laner, but then we merge out of the two laner. So if I go to there, and then all I'm doing 
is. And I can run this alongside all of this. It's not a problem. Or I can keep this completely separate. And then go for the connection on the right hand side. Sweeping all the way. That wants to create a bridge. I do not want a bridge. So I run this. Straight to here. It really wants to create a bridge, doesn't it? Why is it so hell-bent in creating a bridge? Now, I find sometimes if you just do like smaller little sections like this. You can get away from the whole bridge aspect of it. Normally works out pretty well. There we go. We've uh, got rid of the bridge. And if I bring this to here. To then connect this in. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to have multiple trains on this. I'm not. I'm literally not. It's just so we can kind of make it route itself nicely to the two-way, the two-kind of lane format that we have set up here. Well, that goes there. Well, that would go here. And I then would need to delete this signal. Right. That's all I needed to do. That's literally all I needed to do. Um... And just to make sure that it does utilize it correctly, I'll put this here. Even though it does not need to be there, we'll put it there anyway. Just in the off chance there is going to be an additional train working its way down. So, smoothie, smoothie, all of this. I'm in no rush to get a steel train because it's technically not producing any steel at the minute until the ore and coal gets delivered. So, saw all the smoothiness out here. There we go. Right, there we go. So, get the line set up now. Bam. Well, bam. Make it nice and silver. So, in the Geraldton sidings right now is the one where we'll get it to utilize both platforms. That's all that really matters. And this will be our Laverton Steel. Now, I don't probably don't need a train as big as the Alden Coal. Because it's, it's a two to one, isn't it? It's like two and two of those to one of those. So we'll make it electric. Again, we've got to switch over to all this electric stuff eventually. This one has more tractive power, so we can go up to speed a bit quicker. We are capped at our cargo speed limit anyway. Which is 99 miles an hour. And we'll do a 140... No, we'll do a 200 capacity. And keep it like that. So, Laverton Steel is what I need. I bet you, in Geraldton, it's null electric. Yes. Right. That then solves the issue. <laughs> there we go, boys. There we go. And am I going to assume it's utilizing, yeah, both sides correctly? Right, no issues. So that's a simple setup, a simple line. Um, we're already bringing something back. It won't be a lot until this starts demanding more. But we'll try and fast forward. It won't really change much. But we've got a beautiful setup now on the go. Why are you so slow to come out? Why will you... Is it? Are you fooled into thinking... You gotta use these lines or the train's gonna make its way over or something like that. Actually, this is not really as long as I would have hoped it to be, but I, f I think it'll be okay. Should have selected a longer platform, but I think we'll be okay. Right, now it's on the way out. That was really weird. Hold on. Where are you going? No, like, seriously, where are you going? Where are you going? Right. Send back to depot. Where? Right. There you go. 
What in the world was going on then, boys? What in the world was going on? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what was happening there for a second. But this is going to get some goods. It will take time for it to be up and running. It will take time for it to get up and running. But there's now going to be more this time than the first time it picked up the goods. So we're getting somewhere. Leave that to do what it's got to do. That will be a nice little money maker for us. Right. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look at this over here then. The little fueling system. So let's just kind of recap what's going on. So right now we have um, oil, crude oil being delivered from over here, which there is quite a lot. Is that the oil train? No. Where's the oil train for this? We have one train. It's here. Where actually is it? It's there. Now, the problem with all of this is it does get caught up quite easily with the kerfuffleness that does go up. So that goes there. And is it the only? No, there's multiple trains that do turn this way. Which go down here and then into the... We have a bypassing route. I reckon there's something we can do here to kind of ease this burden. Now, when it comes in... It does utilize this side. Chrissy Crossy Apple Saucy. I'm going to add, if possible, a separate line just... For this. Which actually is not possible. Now, I could get it to share. Which is, it only shares with the plastic line. Because I've got an idea. It's, it's, it all comes down to, though, if it's going to work. So if I brought this to here for a second. And what I want is to have, I could either elevate it or not. I could actually sink it down. It's not a problem. So if I brought this to there, all right, that's not dipped down enough. Okay, that now is. Because the oil train comes down this way and it shares this until it merges with, with that there. Now, I'll keep that there because the train itself... Uh, hang on, let me delete this. The train itself is currently on the way back. So if I just do this real quick... That solves that little slight little issue. This is going to run alongside it, which means the only train that will utilize this additional line that I'm running in right now is that oil train. Because there's too many trains sharing all the tracks to get in, and it's kind of causing a little bit of a uh, issue. That goes up and in. Which it does mean it's going to have to share one of these two. Which it's not a problem. It's not a problem. But it would be if I'm trying to... Oh, i got to do the crisscross. That's what I'm... I'm trying to figure out there. Why, why can't I get the signals in? I realise I haven't done the crisscross. Alright, signals. So you would go there. And that's how it would wait here. Until it's free to enter. So that line, which is Mount Isa, is it the Mount Isa oil? No. It's Rockhampton crude oil, which I managed the line, which it would go to seven and eight. So it has to share this, which is not a problem. It frees things up ever so slightly. And then stops that train, which is so damn long, waiting for other trains. One less train to navigate all of this. 
Now, I should apply that to other places, but we'll see how that gets on first anyway. We'll see how we get some. So that's going to come around and in. That train can now move. We're back in business. So we have oil from there gets delivered to here. We also have crude oil from over there that gets delivered to here. And that's why this has got so much oil and why it can produce so many guts. It then produces the refined oil and it does two things. It drops it on this platform and it also drops it on this platform. Now that platform there at the top is what goes to da, 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 da. is it rockhampton plastics yes no it's not plastic gets dropped there i think it's the mount isa fuel no it's the other one it's the rockhampton oil and i guess picked up there and then taken all the way down to here and then dropped off from refined to fuel that's what it does the other one which there seems to be a lot on the platform for then it's taken all the way down here to produce into fuel so if we first look at the top one, because there's a lot of oil currently there. And it shares the line with the plastics. Is there a way in which we can also integrate a bypass for these guys coming in? What is and how big is? Is it called McKay oil? No, it's called Rockhampton, isn't it? Rockhampton oil. We have a train on there which carries 300, 300 capacity, which is very big, and it's currently waiting somewhere. Where is it waiting? Over here. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. We're delivering it to the plastic place. Hold on. Am I delivering it? Mount Isa fuel. Where are you? Hold on. Where are you getting your fuel from? McKay oil comes from down here. Oh, I get ya. Right, we've got to do something here because this is a slight issue. We're actually technically backlogged. I need that second um, signal to allow them to flow through. I've realized now what's actually happening. Your boys realized it. Which if I could get the plastics to be on one side and the fuel to be on the other side and not share, I can make them tunnel under to go in this direction. Because the fuel and the plastics are separate lines, but they go directly to over here. Ah, okay, okay. Right, that's a big challenge all on its own. Pause. That's going to be a big challenge all on its own. Oh, I don't know what the best way to do, to do this would be now. So, track-wise, we'll obviously be having the double bubble here. Now, this is just pure management on my half to the reason why I've got to do it like this. All right, follow it all around. Bring you to there. Continue running it down. Now, I don't want it to go through there. So, in reality, we'll, we'll attach it back into here. And... What's picking up from here? So I will have to kind of combine them back in. So if I delete you, delete you, delete you for a second. You're to there. And then you're to there. So that works. Right, bear with me because i got to do this in stages. You go to there. I want then this to come so far down and then turn away. 
Because I, I need to then go under. So connecting to there. So I'm running it on a separate line is what I'm doing. Which would then leave... I mean, it looks quite ugly, but you can't... It doesn't look too bad. You're like, oh, okay, maybe it does look really bad. I could have integrated it into this actual stop there. Which is probably the better way to go about doing it and not making it look so ugly. But it alleviates the fuel run as well. It takes a lot of pressure off a lot of lines doing it like the way I'm trying to now set it all up. And makes things a lot more efficient and we get more frequent deliveries, which we, means we'll also then start producing more guts. So I'm trying to get my plastic and my oil line running completely separate. I'll have nothing in its way. It'll be straight runs. We will be winning. Right, that's all I want to do there. That runs into there. That runs into there. I'm not stopping there. I'm just using it as a bypassing route, but also keeps everything nice and tidy. Keeps everything nice and tidy, or as tidy as you can get it. There we go. So that runs all the way around. We've currently stopped now here on this bit because that's got to run all the way down as well. Very good, very good. Where I then got to do some magic here. Now, this is a bit of an issue for me. So what I'm going to have to do is wait. Is this the Rockhampton oil? Yes. Wait for this train to come in. And then we have to kind of flip it on its head. It'll probably be also worth changing the engine to electric. So we have had to get all the way in. All right, give it a second. Out of curiosity, where's the plastic train? What? It feels like it's slightly lagging, doesn't it? I think the train is slightly jumping. There's too much going on over here. So that train's now in. So I'm now going to delete you. Delete you. Which has killed off. Alright, hold on. It's killed off my... Uh, it's going to kill off a lot of stuff here. So let me just do this step by step. Killed off you. But just give this a second. Because what it needs to do... I need to now wait... For the plastics train to make its way in. So run that to there. Right, that train's going to have to now wait for a second. It's a bit stuck. I've got to wait for this train, this plastics train, to make its way in. Bit annoying, but bear with me. Okay, the train, is this the train here? Yeah, the train's just here. Just bear with me a second. Because we're going to make that go underground and pop back up into these two. So while I am waiting, there's a bit of smoothing I can do there. Run this all the way down. There's two trains here waiting as well on this old Chrissy Cross. So now that train's doing over here on this oil run, what I need to do, I can actually get rid of its ability to then crisscross just there. No longer needed. That runs in back and forth just nicely. Right, here's the train coming in. So let me manage this and edit it. Get rid of you and put the electric one on. Just means it can pull the vehicle a bit more. Same with this one. Manage this. Edit it. Bit more torque it will have. Bit more torque. Right, we have had to fully get all the way in. Because I can then... 
Get rid of you. Get rid of you. They're now all gone. Delete this back. Right, they're now all gunners. Pause for a quick second. And how how quickly can I make it go underground? Is the question. So if I went to here, I need this to mimic it. There we go. That needs to come around and connect to there. But I need these. To slightly come off. Right, I might need to push these back a bit more. So bring these out to there in the hopes that we can make a swooping connection to here. Right, that works. That's now all connected. I just need to make these lines now do what I want them to do. So Rockhampton Oil... Manage the line. So when it's in my I set exchange, get rid of the ability to crisscross on there. And it's on number three. Perfect. It can stay there. And then over here, it needs to get rid of you. Oh, no. It can stay on them, can't it? It can stay on them. But it stays on the one side. So this plastic one, manage the line. In, it goes to number four. Get rid of number three. So it doesn't share lines. It stays separate all the way around. And then comes into here. Completely fine. But I've got an issue still. Ah, no electric path next. So what is not electric? I'm going to assume it's... Actually, what? yeah, that's a good point. What's not electric? So, play mode, turn this round. No, I think it was just causing an issue itself. It is electric. We're fine. So, these no longer share the lines. They've got their own separate lines. And the freedom to run in. Which have now taken three trains off this junction. Which makes things a little bit more efficient for us. Or at least I think it does. These have got a bit more torque right now. So, they'll get to and from their destinations a lot quicker. Nice. Okay, so that will change what it does here. We then need to deliver more of this. We've got a big bulk of the Mount Isa fuel. And that's the train that goes back and forth to over here. So this train, which is only carrying 100, I now need to edit this for cargo to carry. And I'll make the capacity 300. I know it seems ridiculous. We'll also make it electric. Modify you. That big train there is electric. That then should be a whole lot more efficient all over again. This needs more steel deliveries. It needs more plastic deliveries. To keep producing more goods. Steel deliveries just come in. So why is it not producing enough steel? I mean, I can get steel delivered from elsewhere. Ore delivery is looking a little bit low. Do we have an ore problem? The ore is coming from over here. There's a lot on the platform. Manage the two vehicles. They both carry 300 capacity. Is that the small ones? No, it is these ones. So if I replace them with first electric cargo... Fringe capacity. So nothing changes apart from the engine. And I've just made them a little bit more newer. Are they just sucking up like a lot of ore or something? An ore train's on the way in. Could be delays holding them back.
That's cool. Could be. I mean, they utilize both sides of the platform. Well, Dara or manage the line. Just change the ping to make sure it's not the other one. We're okay. And the only junction it has to contend with is this one here. Interesting. Very interesting, this is. Very interesting. All being delivered right now. Steel's been dropped on the platform. If it turns out that we're just not getting enough, we'll have to kind of bring more over. Up those delivery numbers. There's all over here we can bring in. Or I can just set up another steel plant nearby. I'm sure there's one not too far around, right? There's one over there. I don't know where I'll get the stuff from, but... Yeah, we can kind of do something about that. It's not the end of the world. So with the uh, freedom now of, that we've got a little bit more of, we just dropped off a load of uh, oil so they can start producing more. More plastic. That's loaded up, which I think we should maybe add more to this vehicle. Give it a 200 capacity instead. Is what we'll do. Bit more free now to keep picking up the fuel. The Sydney fuel right now. We manage this vehicle. Edit it. Edit it or add a second one. How often is the finances? Wow, you went for the longest time of having nothing. That was probably caught up in that jam. That I had to fix. I did get a second one. see what goes down not much f fuel being delivered there is there it's coming from over here all my shipment numbers have like really dramatically changed this is still producing right it's just playing the waiting game now isn't it I'm just playing the waiting game but that should make this whole area a little bit more efficient, a bit more free-flowing, at least. You're now, Mildura Steel, going back down this way. So I reckon what we need to do here is add another signal in. Just there. Another one in just there, just to get these trains moving a bit. So it doesn't backlog the next train behind it. That's my new duplicated train now coming out. But it could be that I might have to kind of figure out a new route going down here. Because if I want high speed trains coming down here, that's going to be a bit of an issue for me. But we'll see how we get on now because we've alleviated a lot of pressures. So you should see a bit more flow and movement. At least I think we will. At least I think we will. Having the line separate does make a huge difference. Because the ore trains merge here. What if they didn't merge there and they had a separate line going a little bit further up? To keep them away from all of this. That could make a huge difference, a huge help. Right, let's set that up. And then that's the only thing I'm going to left to be done in this area. Because I've got some stuff I want to do in Perth. So I bring you to here. Let me just bring this second one to here. So pause for a, a quick second. Because we merge over a bunch of train tracks here with our ore trains. And instead... The ore trains. Need to go from there. To here. If 
but how am I getting this in? Oh, it's the signal. So that goes to there, and then we bring this all the way down. So this should completely split my ore. Because the crisscross are happening there anyway. Might as well bring them into the crisscross. So they should take it by... Oh, somebody else takes it as well. Oh, the steel takes it. So the steel is going all the way down. Where does the steel go to? They go all the way down. Ah, because the steel chooses there. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And it puts it on the cargo route. As long as we sort out the signals, we're okay. So where did they merge him? Just here. So one there. And then we do one there, one there. Do one there, one there. We're bam, we're bam. And then going down here, we have one there. That's just there for that one. One just there for there. You're there for there. And we're back in business. That now alleviates all of this here. For having them being backlogged as well and makes them the cargo line a bit more faster and efficient. Right, hopefully things have now worked out. Also allows the steel line to be a bit more quicker as well. There's a bit of kerfuffle now going on here. But that's purely down to... Having those millions more trains. <laughs> but it's a lot better. It's definitely a lot better. Right, forget that for a second. Because what I want to do right now is look at Perth. Now, Perth had this slight little issue with the fact that it demands so many goods, but it doesn't get all the goods. And that's because it can only deliver the goods to this radius. And when we checked the cargo, it's mainly all over on this side of Perth, which is not reaching. Which, what I'm going to do is set up a vehicle or road depot or road hub and deliver it via trucks. So, if I go to the road... And if I go to buildings and then a truck station is what I need. I'm actually going to delete this road that I built last episode. Because this is the perfect bit of land here I can utilize the truck stop on. So no tram tracks. Super long. Spin it right round, baby, right round. Get it just situated right. Like this. And configure it because there could be a lot of goods that do get dropped off. So we can make it quite long to work with. And hopefully long enough where if I put like an additional exit on the opposite side. Or street access. We could connect to it. Now we might have to go a bit further back on that. Just create a little bit of a through route. So streets... Too much of a slope. Or if I go a bit of diagonal. There we go. Works out wonderful for us. So the goal is, with the buildings and the truck and load stops, is just to give us a couple of variations of where we can drop these goods off. And we'll kind of create a couple of back and forth routes. Now, there's probably a few over on this way, but the train station does reach it. But it's mainly all the industry is down on this side. So if I set up a new line, now this is going to seem a bit ridiculous. I go here, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, there. I mean, I could go to there, but the train station's right there, to there, to here. Bam, 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 
Bam. 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 That's a lot. It's probably ridiculously overkill. Ridiculously. Now, the Perf branch, every time it comes here, I need to make sure that it can utilize both sides. That's all I need to do. I need a road depot, which I can't see one nearby. No. So we'll put a new one down. Now, this is just going to be an experiment, okay? Don't get it twisted. It's an experiment, boys. It's going to be an experiment. Oh, where did it go? Road depot. I don't know where to pull it. I might just put it over here. And what I'm going to do as well is buy a bunch of vehicles for it. So they will be nicely spread out. And we'll buy the electric e-trucks. And I'm going to buy 10. Okay. Spread them nicely out, which will be line one. Which I've now got to change the name of it. So let them do what they're going to do. I'm going to call it our um, Perf Goods. So the idea behind it is, it's just literally uh, gives us the ability to distribute to every nook and cranny available where they want the goods within Perf. You know what I mean? It just gives that ability to go every nook and cranny. So when this train now drops off, some of the goods will go here for the vehicles to distribute them. Which could mean, now we have access to it, could mean that these uh, industries start producing a little bit more. Could be, could be, could be. Now, how are we getting on over here then? Are we now starting to have a bit more steel delivered? Bit of steel there. Already in. Is there some steel over here? No, no, sorry, that needs planks. We need to up our plank delivery, don't we? So, Perth planks, this train. We've got the same issues over here where we can slightly get a little bit overwhelmed. So... We'll have to figure this one out. We'll have to come back and figure that one out. Because um, there's no there's no other plank producers near... I mean, there's one over here. That we're not using. We are picking up wood from there. We can pick up wood from here, also deliver it to over here to produce even more, and then bring that in as a secondary option. That could also work out for us. We'll see how we get on for us. We'll see how we get on. A lot of people waiting. We'll just see what happens. So, per food, we have a 60 capacity. Finances, it never really does that good. Perf goods... Mm, hit and miss. And we also have Perf Machines. Hit and miss lately as well. Okay. So let's see what they do when they do start delivering. Plank's about to be delivered anyway. Nice chunk of steel coming in. How is this getting on anyway? My brand new line. I mean, it's going to make more money this year. It's only been a couple of years. But it's making more money every year by the looks of it. So wait for it to now drop off. We'll make a few additional pennies. There we go. And you can then see... It's only been three years. I've had, I've had the game pause the whole time. But you can see that's going to do us proud eventually. Eventually, he says. Right, the vehicles have made their way over. That's one of my cargo ones coming out. I don't think this will drop anything off. I think it might have to do a few circulations and come back a second time before it does drop anything off. But we can, we can keep our eyes peeled. We can keep our eyes peeled. Where's that train? It's coming in right now. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. Alright, here we go.
Unless he's gone straight on the train. Uh, on the vehicle, sorry. No, the answer is going to be no. Oh, also, what do these vehicles carry? I just realized I didn't really pick. Or choose. They do everything, don't they? Yeah, all cargo. So it'll be the next time it delivers, it should drop some goods off there. At least we're hoping. That's what we're hoping for. Right, that steel train needs to hurry up from the other direction. Which... It comes from this way now, doesn't it? It's not you. There's a plank train. Going to Alice Springs? Yes, of course. I had to think for a second there. Where, where's that going? Where's that truly going? It's just crazy, isn't it? The, the whole systems and setups that we've got on the go. It is crazy. There's the steel train now on the way. Your finances have been pretty solid, right? Yeah. Nothing dramatic we need to kind of worry about there. But this is starting to get a little bit busier now, isn't it? it? I can kind of see it myself. Right, that's going back now with 63 on board. This is now leveling up by the looks of it, so that will then start producing even more steel. We're making sweet, sweet cash. Right, we didn't quite get on top of figuring out our next high-speed um, rail line. We'll do that next episode. But we've definitely made things a little bit more efficient because there's a lot of fuel here waiting on the platform. <laughs> Which means we're delivering some, a lot more back. This is completely maxed out. we got an oil delivery about to come in. No, we don't. This is picking up the, um, the oil. Which is not a lot for it. Which just shows you that it, maybe that's a little bit too big for this line. But it went the longest time making no money. Now all of a sudden it's made money. That traffic jam must have been there for quite some time. Yeah, that traffic jam has been there for quite some time. Melbourne fuel. There's a couple of trains on that. Here's one of them. So it's just nice to get back to making money, really, isn't it? Now, has that changed much for us? I feel like we've uh, spent quite a bit. But, oh my goodness me, that has now skyrocketed our income. And we've just had our record year to date at 1.4 billion in income. What is going on? If I do it over the grand scheme of things, look at that, boys. Look at that right now. The last 50 years, the highest I've ever made in income. It's also the most I've ever spent. I've spent over a billion. Interesting to see where this is now going to go. But, forget that anyway. Because next coming episodes, boys... We've got to figure out our next high-speed train line from this side here. It's going to, wherever it situates itself, it's going to go to, obviously, uh, all the way up to Catherine, down to Mildura, obviously on the way to Perth. But it's going to need some configurations because a high-speed to Catherine goes this way, obviously. Connect up to the high-speed line, it runs that direction. Which would also probably be the one that utilizes then going this way to Perth. But the one to Mildura, the line currently exists with cargo. We're going to have to build an additional line to connect to it and go into there. Not a problem. But it is definitely getting very interesting, boys. Very, very interesting. The Catherine Mildera line, the finances. Big money is involved with the high-speed transit. Big money is involved. And I want to make sure that we keep capitalizing on top of all of it. Guys, we're going to leave it here. I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.